Hi everyone, I'm Brent Darden. Hard to imagine, but just a little over a week ago, I was in back in Texas where I own some property uh, in the rural parts of the state, dragging brush and clearing cedar trees in the heat, uh, but still enjoying the peacefulness and the solitude of the great outdoors. And now I find myself here in Boston in the big city uh, where the URSA headquarters are located and having the privilege and honor of serving as the interim CEO of our association. I have to say, there's a lot of work that collectively we have to do. We find ourselves in a regrettable position these days. It's hard to even think back to March when the pandemic first was coming to the United States and the decision was made to cancel the International Convention and Trade Show based on the guidance and restrictions of the state of California. Little did we know back then how far-reaching that decision would be and what an impact it would have on our entire industry. Canceling the event at that time was a really monumental and difficult decision for URSA. It's obviously created a financial hardship for the association and ensuing financial distress for many of our suppliers and members that we rely so heavily upon. Norm Cates with Club Insider and one of the URSA's founding fathers recently asked me if there was any sort of message points I wanted to share with our URSA as I took over as the interim CEO. And I'd like to pass a few of those on to all of you as well. First, I'd just like to remind everyone that URSA is indeed a member trade association. I think sometimes that gets lost and we tend to maybe forget that. But the association is truly only as strong as the membership that supports it. Second, I would ask for all our suppliers and club members' patience, grace, and understanding as we work through the pandemic and all that that entails. We're all in uncharted territory and trying to do the best that we can. Finally, uh, I want our members to know that we're intimately aware that our industry at large is hurting. Everything from shutdowns to employee layoffs and furloughs, members going on freeze or canceling, decreased spending on capital expenditures and purchase of new equipment, and the financial implications that are just so deep. And we understand uh, that the industry needs our assistance and we're trying to provide it. But perhaps most alarming and actually disheartening has been the public portrayal of gyms and clubs in the media by civil servants and the politicians. It's not what we want and we're working to get that corrected with your help. To our supplier members, from the URSA board, from the URSA staff, and myself, we just want you to know how appreciative we are of your continued support of the association. It goes without saying that we couldn't have the convention and trade show without you. We also couldn't have the association without you, and we're so grateful that you're continuing to stand by us during these trying times. To our club members, we need your support more than ever. We ask that you continue your membership with URSA. We hope you'll consider contributing to the Industry Leadership Council and engage with us in our research about the industry so that we continue giving you data and information that will help us be successful. And finally, engage with us in our educational opportunities that are out there in programming so that we can, again, work together to be the best we can possibly be. As your association, our goal is to restore and reinforce the confidence that you have in our industry. And it's also to build upon the loyalty that you've been demonstrating to us so far. We're so thankful for that. And to that end, I want you to know that as an organization, we're going to be obsessed with the voice of the customer, with our members' voice, with your voice. Thank you.